Hello and welcome to the Spirit Spa, an online sanctuary dedicated to supporting you if you're in the terrifying early stages of recovering from a nervous breakdown and helping you to transform that terror into triumph over this adversity in your life. I'm Karen Packwood, a best-selling author and author of the book Soul Walks and Sacred Circles, The Art of Healing from a Nervous Breakdown. And I'm also founder of the Natural, Natural, he Natural Way Healing Systems, uh, which is a series of systems designed to um, give you processes to help support you um, through the various stages of recovery from your breakdown. This video today is um, the first in a series of videos designed to help you um, and support you regain your fitness levels. And I'm going to just tell you where I am today, and some of you might recognize this tree. If you've seen my first video, one of my early videos about how to cope in the early stages of recovery from a nervous breakdown, you'll know that I was sitting at the base of a tree and it was bleak mid-winter. It was a very, very bleak winter day. And I showed you the canopy of the tree and the canopy of the tree was completely skeletal. There were no leaves on it whatsoever. Well, I've come back to that tree today um, there's a reason why and I'll explain that as we go through the video but I just wanted to share with you what the canopy of the tree looks like today and I just want you to see it's absolutely thriving with the most wonderful beautiful leaves and so I just wanted to share that with you today. I'm going to be giving you three tasks for you to do, three little um, exercises that are going to help you connect with that part of you that wants to regain your fitness levels. Um, so. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into three, um, three activities if you like. But before we do that, I want to share a quote with you. And the quote is from this book. It's called, sorry, just, the, quote, the, the book is called The Hidden Life of Trees. Um, and it's by an author called jo uh, John Banville. And it's a beautiful book because it just tells you all about how leaves, um, how trees care for themselves and look after themselves. And there's a wonderful quote in it that I think really helps us as human beings um, when we're at this stage of um, the nervous breakdown that many of you will be at where you feel very exhausted and depleted in your energy levels and he says trees maintain an inner balance they budget their strength carefully and they must be economical with energy so that they can meet all of their needs and this is exactly the same for you if you're in those early stages of absolute exhaustion physically exhausted, mentally exhausted, and emotionally exhausted. So I'm just gonna read the quote again. Trees maintain an inner balance. They budget their strength carefully, and they must be economical with energy so that they can meet all of their needs. So how does that help us in these early stages? Well, we need to do this too, don't we? It's very important that you honor the energy levels where you're at right now. It's not helpful to look back at the past in a time when you might have been extremely fit. Many of you know I was a dancer and a, you know, a mountain climber and a long distance walker. Well, there was no way I was able to do that at the beginning of my breakdown and I'm sure that's the case for you as well. You're probably totally exhausted, totally depleted, probably still spending a lots of time in bed and if you're not spending lots of time in bed you're probably still feeling quite lethargic and, and unable to do too much physically and of course it's not helpful to look into the future too much either in terms of where you would like to be you know you know it's no good pushing yourself to be thinking oh you know I really wish I was able to you know to run the marathon or whatever high achievement it is that you would like to attain you've got to let go of that because what's important is where you're at now. Hanging on to an inner balance with where you are at right now. Listening to the energy levels that where you're at right now, and respecting them. And so the exercises that I'm gonna be bringing you over the next few days are all about recognizing, coming into alignment with where are you at right here, right now, and how can you work with that to help you move forward. So this is a series of seven videos. By the end of the seventh video, I hope that you will have a much clearer idea of what your next step forward, so going to, your next step forward is going to be in terms of helping you take the next step in your fitness um, recovery journey. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on acceptance. And I've got three exercises that I'd like to share with you. 
So the first exercise is a connecting with our inner healer. As you know, I believe that we all have an inner healer that can help us on our healing journey. So I'd like you to just bring yourself into a place of quiet, stillness, gentleness and peace. And I'm going to invite you to just close your eyes because we're just going to spend a few moments in peace and stillness. We're going to allow this to just gather around us. And I'd like you to allow yourself to breathe in a beautiful white light of love and healing. Breathing in a beautiful white light of love and healing and allowing this gentle serenity attached to this beautiful white light as it breathes into your body. Also allow it to come around you. Imagine that the peace of the forest is around you. Beautiful tra knee, sorry, trees are around you and that you're just surrounded by tranquility and peace. And then just allow your inner healer to step forward in whatever shape that feels like it's coming forward for you today. It might be a feeling, it might be a sensation, it might be an emotion. Just allow your inner healer to step forward and allow your energy and your attention to come down to your body. We spend so much time in our heads worrying and thinking, but just come down into your body. And then I'd like you to ask yourself, what does fitness actually mean to me? What does that look like? How do I define fitness for myself right here, right now? What do I want it to look like? Just spend a few moments asking yourself, what does fitness mean to me? What is it that I want and need? You might want to take a few moments to just write a few notes down. Remember, you can pause the video to do this, to give yourself time and then come back to the second step of the activity. When you feel you've fully answered that question, just defining what fitness actually means to you, because it will mean different things to different people, I'd like you to move on to the second part of the activity. And this is where you draw two timelines. And at the center of each timeline, you have a zero. And on the, the far right hand side of each timeline, you have a plus 10. And on the far left, you have a minus 10. The top line represents where you are at physically right now and energetically right now and in terms of your fitness levels. I doubt that you'll feel like you're at positive 10, which is where you're able to you know, do run marathons and climb mountains. You might be somewhere in the middle where you feel quite neutral or you might be absolutely exhausted still and really depleted down by near, near minus 10. Just be very clear where you're at with no judgments. This is not about beating yourself up. This is about being very clear about where you're at right now. And the second timeline is about your emotional state. We carry, with this exhaustion that we carry within us that depletes our energies at the early stages of recovery, this is often because we actually have some quite difficult emotions that we're carrying as well. It could be guilt, it could be shame, we could be feeling a sense of failure which adds to our kind of depletion of our energy levels. Just notice where you're at. Are you at positive 10 which is to do with liberation and radiance and joy? Are you quite neutral? Or you, are you really down at minus 10 where you have despondency and despair and depression? Really difficult feelings dragging you down. And you might want to name those emotions. It really helps sometimes to name our emotions. But just be clear, where are you at? And no judgment, this is not about blame. This is about honest and clarity with ourselves. This is about loving clarity for ourselves and with ourselves. It's only when we can become into a place of honesty with these things that we can then begin to enter into a healing space in our recovery. And then the final part is about acceptance. I just would like you to just take a few moments to close your eyes again and come back into connection with your inner healer. Remember, you can pause the video. You don't have to rush your work yourself through this. Come back to it once you feel a sense of completion with these things. But just allow yourself to connect with that sense of serenity, with the awareness that has come to you today. The clarity that has come to you today and just tell yourself you know I love you where you're at right now right here 
I still love you and perhaps I even love you more now than I ever have done before. Maybe I'm giving you more love and more care and more attention right here, right now than I have ever given you in my whole life. And I intend to continue honoring you, caring for you and loving you so deeply from this moment on so that I can regain not only my fitness but my whole life and bring it back to a place of wellness and peace and nourishment and joy and confidence again. And it begins today, right here, right now, in connecting with where I am at, right here, right now. And I absolutely trust that I will, just like that tree that had no leaves on it in the bleak winter, I will allow myself to come back to a place where I will regrow and I too will have my own version of this beautiful canopy of wonderful leaves. I too will do this. I will regrow. I will sprout again. I will rebirth myself. If you have any questions about this process today, if you'd like any other questions answered about anything relating to your fitness, or any other aspects of healing from a recover, healing and recovering from a nervous breakdown, please leave comments in the comments box below or email me at karenpackwood at gmail.com. I'm always so happy to hear your questions and to help in any way I can in terms of answering them. So I'm going to be posting the second part of this series, which is all about needs over the next couple of days. But for the next couple of days, just focus on allowing yourself to keep repeating this exercise and coming into greater clarity and awareness with this exercise that I have given you today, which is all about acceptance and self-love. So I'm sending you so much love and I'm wishing you a peaceful, nourishing and loving day. Take care.